The problem that we're gonna have now, and I can see that as a future direction, but the hand pieces, there's only two when this launched, 25 centimeters and 10 centimeters, which is about your face tight hand piece. So imagine trying to use that face tight cannula around the eyeball. Um, I eventually think we're going that direction, we just don't have the hand piece yet. So I would put a pause on that around periorbital with quant quantum. That's more because of the size of the hand piece is gonna be jawline, nasolabials, submental, bigger areas. Um, the areas of the periorbital space is gonna need a smaller, like that 22 gauge with the same technology. So my guess, knowing in mode, that type of stuff will be coming. Look, I want you guys to see, this is the first pass and after six passes, just look at the width of this incision, okay? You, basically what this is showing is tissue contraction. Do you guys see this? Look at, look at how much more narrow that is after six passes. And again, all we're doing is no tumescent. This is directly into the subcutaneous space. And it's frequent pops of RF back and forth and back and forth at desired tissue levels through a small insertion site. We go right up underneath the dermis all the way down to muscle and everything in between. So it's like a very, 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 very deep Morpheus. It fills that gap between Morpheus body and body type. No aspiration required, just in the office. I really feel like this is gonna be a game changer. It's tolerated very, very well. And for me, who has the opportunity to do surgery or body type, it's filling a gap. It's filling a gap in my tool set right now. Yes, sir. Here's some early results from Dr. Maholland. Great question. He said, unlike body type, because body type has the internal thermistors, how are you, and I totally glossed over that slide, he said, how are you um, making sure that you're like endpoint temperatures? Remember, this is a little different than, uh, than bulk heating. So in terms of endpoint temperatures, as long as I'm getting to my 36 and greater, which would be external, um, 65 or greater internal, as long as I'm getting to that, my fiber blasts are doing what I need to do. 